Good afternoon and welcome to Modern Day High School's virtual 2020 commencement ceremony. My name is Darren Knight and it is my privilege to serve as principal of Modern Day High School. I would like to thank the families and friends who have supported our graduating seniors. As principal of Modern Day High School, I am honored to recognize this outstanding group of young adults. I am confident that the spiritual, social, and academic growth of all of you who have experienced these past four years at Modern Day will serve you well as the next stages of your life presents itself. I am pleased to welcome Father Ed Schnur, Pastor of St. Wendell and St. Francis Xavier, and Priest Delegate of the Modern Day Board of Trustees to lead us in prayer. Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, thank you for your many blessings. Thank you for the gift of family and friends and the modern day community, a community devoted to Mary, the mother of God. Thank you for these graduating seniors and for the talents and abilities you have given to each of them. Thank you for being with them during these past nine weeks of e-learning and their stay at home time with their families. Thank you for bringing peace to their lives and easing their anxieties and worries and disappointments. Thank you for their parents, teachers, mentors, and coaches who have taught them, nurtured them, and challenged them along the way. We pray that you will give these graduating seniors direction, purpose, and perseverance as they enter the next chapter of their lives. Strengthen their desire to walk in the footsteps of your son, Jesus, as modern day disciples in a world that desperately needs them. May the words of scripture continue to inspire them. The Eucharist provide them with food for the journey and the example of Mary prompt them to always be open to doing your will in their lives. Through the intercession of Mary, the mother of God, may these graduates walk into the future with faith, hope, and great love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. At this time, Miss Alyssa Gable and Mr. Larry Howler will sing the national anthem. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Now I would like to invite the mayor of Modern Dayville, graduating senior Sabrina Henderson, to come forward for a few words of welcome. Good afternoon, Modern Day family. On behalf of my class, I welcome all of you to the virtual graduation ceremony for the Modern Day High School class of 2020. Over the past four years, many of you shared in the hopes, the opportunities, and the countless successes of the class of 2020. Today, on the 17th day of May, 2020, I welcome all of you to once again share in this final culminating success of our class as we celebrate the end of our high school journey and look ahead to our futures. At this time, I'd like to recognize and introduce the following dignitaries. First, Most Reverend Joseph M. Siegel, Bishop of the Diocese of Evansville. 
Father Ed Schnur, Pastor of St. Wendell and St. Francis Xavier, and Priest Delegate for the Marade President's Council. Dr. Daryl Hagen, Superintendent of Schools for the Diocese of Evansville. Mr. Andrew Morris, President of Marade High School. Mr. Darren Knight, Principal. Mrs. Darlene Quinlan, Assistant Principal. Mrs. Melba Wilderman, Assistant Principal. Mrs. Shea Rainier, School Counselor. And from the Marade High School President's Council, Mrs. Jennifer Vaughn, Chair. Karen Henderleiter, Vice Chair. Mrs. Andrea Bowman, Secretary. Mrs. Judy Blankenberger, Mr. Jeff Bone, Mr. Jeff Gorman, Mr. Nick Knight, Mr. Jake Martin, Mrs. Kelly Pennington, Mr. Jim Pierre, Mr. Wes Wilmis. I'd also like to introduce and recognize Mr. Nicholas Austin, teacher and sponsor for the senior class. We extend our gratitude for all of the work he has done to facilitate senior activities and the celebration of these past few days. We also extend special appreciation to our school counselors, Mrs. Darlene Quinlan and Mrs. Shea Rainier. I would also like to introduce the group of people most directly responsible for the education of these young adults, the faculty of Marta Day High School. On behalf of the students and parents, I thank you for all of the time and talent you have shared with these young people. I would also like to express my deep appreciation for all the support and encouragement you have given us the past year. Thank you. Graduates of Marte High School understand that when they leave our school, they still bear responsibility for supporting and promoting our educational mission. Every year, members of Marte High School and Alumni Association give thousands of dollars in volunteer hours to support the school. And for that, we are so grateful. And now, Ms. Darlene Quinlan will present the class of 2020. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to present to you the following candidates for graduation for Modern Day High School for 2020. Wyatt John Adler. Dane Alexander Babilis. Adam Patrick Barnes. Noah James Beard. Lance John Berendes. Eve Marie Bilderback. Tara Christina Blackburn. Jared Lewis Blanton. Catherine Marie Boots. Brady William Boring. Peyton Wyatt Bradford. Bailey Jordan Brush. Emily Ann Bergdorf. Chloe Ann Brzezinski. Nicholas 
Che Carter. Audrey Carol Collins. Elise K. Collins. Ella Jolie Connor. Devin Robert Dale. Dylan Patrick Davidson. Kyle Jeffrey Davidson. Allison Claire Deeg. Anna June Devoy. Eli Wayne Dickens. Samuel Eugene Depker. Henry Nathaniel Duncan. William Andrew Eads. Kane Joseph Egley. Logan James Elpers. Madison Lynn Elpers. Marcus Raymond Elpers. Ezekiel Edward Epley. Hannah Lou Fehrenbacher. Amelia Kai Fitzgibbon. Dalton Michael Foltz. Madeline Rose Foltz. Rachel Ann Foltz. Colin Emmanuel Givens. Alyssa Shea Gable.
Zachary Joseph Gady. Megan Elizabeth Grease. Austin Xavier Griffin. Larry Wayne Haller. Jillian Elizabeth Hoppy. Raymond Cole Hoppy. Emily Grace Houseman. Duncan Reese Hefley. Sabrina Marie Henderson. Jackson Robert Heaster. Jordan Grace Hill. Cooper Riley Hobbs. Grace Loeen Howell. Connor Ray Gerald. Ellen Lydia Johnston. Lucas John Kassenbrock. Travis Walker Kirsch. Isaac Allen Kuhn. Emma Catherine Lamble. Dax Victor Lannert. David Isaac Martin. Alex Matthew Marks. Matthew Eric McDonald. Audrey Ann McDermott. John Arthur McGrew.
Jacob Wyatt Merkley. Lucas Edward Mulheron. Chloe Lane Noss. Addison Taylor Nosco. Eric James Ondash. William Hayden Orth. McCartney Charles Parkinson. Jada Lee Paul. Tyler Michael Phelps. Logan Walter Postal Weight Isaac Jeffrey Rawls Xavier Alexander Riney Patrick Francis Rising Andrea Grace Risinger Jacob Lawrence Riney Marissa Sue Reardon Jennifer Marie Ross Megan Elise Sanwell Joseph Michael Scheller Jacob Edward Schneider Kristen Marie Schneider Ethan James Schnur Elise Marie Schulteis
Luke Daniel Schofield. Audrey Lynn Sang. Christopher James Simon. Emmeline Catherine Stockton. Madeline Claire Swallows. Clayton Jeffrey Titzer. Caitlin Marie Townsend. Jacob Kyles Van Bibber. Mackenzie Taylor Virgin. Grace Renee Wagner. Dalton Owen Walker. Jonah Thomas Winesaffle. Brandon Lee Warner. Samuel Cole Westerfield. Luke Patrick Weibel. Members of the class of 2020, please rise. By the powers vested in my office, by the Modern Day High School Board of Trustees and the Indiana Department of Education, I am pleased and honored to officially proclaim you graduates of Modern Day High School in 2020. I bestow upon you all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities that accompany your graduation. At this time, I ask you to move your tassel to the left side over your heart. This signifies the mutual loyalty between school and graduate. The highest academic award is that of valedictorian. For the class of 2020, two students have earned this prestigious honor. Xavier Reine and Kristen Schneider are graduating from Modern Day High School, each with a perfect 4.0 GPA. Not only have these students achieved the highest grade point average in the class, but they have enrolled in the most challenging courses that we offer here at Modern Day High School. During his career at Modern Day, Xavier Reine was the captain of the varsity soccer team president of Spanish Club, and historian of the National Honor Society. Xavier is the son of Bev Robbins and Brian Reining. Xavier is a member of St. James Parish. Xavier will attend Indiana University as a Provost Scholarship recipient and will major in neuroscience. Congratulations, Xavier. Welcome all faculty, friends, families, and most importantly, the class of 2020. It's been an interesting four years, especially this last one. And I'd be remiss if I didn't thank everyone who helped us get where we are today. Thank you to all the families and friends who supported us, especially my own parents, who encouraged me to do my best every day. 
Thank you to all the teachers who stayed after hours to help us with our homework and dealt with panicked emails late at night about Spanish tests the next day. Thank you to the faculty and staff who kept the school running so smoothly, and thank you to Ms. Rainier for doing the extra work for us to make our transition to college easier. Now, my time here at Modern Day was so special, I couldn't quite come up with the words to describe it. So instead, I'm using the words of Mark Twain, Mion, Dumbledore, John Mulaney, Bernard Baruch, Juice World, SpongeBob, Maya Angelou, The Office, Anais Neen, Carol Baskin, Forrest Gump, The Bible, Tony Stark, Peter Parker, Moonlight Nemo, Brian Johnson, Vernon Community, The Little Prince, Kenny Rogers, and Boogie with Doty. I was required to say that. Now, you see us as you want to see us, in the simplest terms and the most convenient definitions. But what we found out is that each one of us is a brain and an athlete, a basket case, a princess, and a criminal. We create our own demons. Who said that? What does that even mean? Doesn't matter. I said it because he said it. I, I'm going to start again. Let's track this from the beginning. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. I just want to say how happy we are that all of you are here tonight. And I want to especially thank those of you who have traveled from far away. It is no secret that the best thing about secrets is telling someone else your secret, thereby adding another secret to, the, to your secret collection of secrets, secretly. And I'm going to let you in on one. The best time to wear a striped sweater is all the time. Kidding. but. Did you know we're the only species on Earth to observe Shark Week? Think about it. Real, for real though, it's only with the heart that one can see rightly. What is essential is invisible to the eye. Faith. It does not make things easy. It makes things possible. Let your faith be bigger than your fear. Because true peace comes from knowing that God is in control. My mama always said, a light Life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. I'm prepared for any insane adventure life throws our way. And I don't know about you, but I'm looking forward to every single one of them. Always accept the unexpected. No man can win every battle, but no man should fall without a struggle. Remember, just keep swimming. Now, I've learned that people will forget what you said People will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. Because we don't see things how they are. We see things as we are. It is not our abilities that show what we truly are. It's our choices. It is 100% easier not to do things than to do them. And so much fun not to do them, especially when you are supposed to do them. But look back at it. Be who you are and say what you feel, because those who mind don't matter, and those who matter don't mind. At some point, you've got to decide for yourself who you're going to be. You can't let anybody make that decision for you. You can do whatever you want, you just have to know what it is. After all, you don't need a license to drive a sandwich. It's important that as we go on, we remember all the times we spent together. And as our lives change, from whatever, we will still be friends forever. This is not only a graduation at this point, it's a reunion. What makes you think it's special? Because it's one of the few things in life you can never replace. I just wonder what's happening in the darker timeline. Unless this is the darkest timeline. Never mind. You have to spend a little more time trying to make something of yourself. And a little less time trying to impress people. Because this is as far as it goes. This is life. This is the end of the road. This is the end of the show. It's over. High school has officially come to an end. And I only have one more piece of advice to give that I think applies to every situation. You've got to know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Know when to walk away. Know when to run. You never count your money when you're sitting at the table. There'll be time enough for counting when the dealing's done. Thank you. In addition to her academic accomplishments, Kristen Schneider has been very involved at Modern Day. She is a four-year member of both cheerleading and student council. She currently serves as clerk of Modern Dayville. The daughter of Ken and Terry Schneider, Kristen and her family are members of Resurrection Parish. Kristen will attend Murray State University as a Regent Scholarship recipient and will major in speech and language pathology. 
Congratulations, Kristen. Back in August, I gave an inauguration speech as Clerk of Student Council, and I talked about the importance of living each day with a mindset of determination and gratitude. Back in March, when I found out that we weren't coming back to school and that our senior year was essentially canceled, I honestly struggled to feel any kind of gratitude. We spent four years working so hard to reach the end, the final celebration, and right before we get there, it's pulled out of reach. But then I started to think, this moment, this disappointment, is only one speck in the journey that is our lives. We still have many, many years ahead of us to make new memories, new friends, and soon high school will seem like a faraway dream. It honestly won't matter if you had the prom of your dreams or not. What matters is the relationships that you made with the people who shared in that journey with you. Don't let this disappointment prevent you from being grateful for your high school relationships. If I've learned anything from my time in confinement, it's that we all have an essential role to play in this world. Whether it's saving lives as a medical professional, or saving bank accounts as an accountant, or providing food for people, we all have the chance to do incredible things. As Shakespeare said, some are born great, some achieve greatness, and some have greatness thrust upon them. We aren't all lucky enough to be born great or simply fall into greatness, but anyone can achieve greatness. Through determination and perseverance, we can accomplish any goal. Seniors, I am so proud of how far we have come. It's hard to believe that only a few years ago we were tiny, clueless freshmen. I can only imagine the amazing things that each and every one of you will achieve. So remember, never lose your motivation and never stop thanking God for the people in your life. I miss you all. Thank you. Please join me in congratulating the valedictorians of modern day's class of 2020. I am pleased to welcome Bishop Joseph M. Siegel to share a few words with the graduates and lead us in our closing prayer. Bishop Siegel has demonstrated strong support of Catholic schools, and we are happy to have him with us today. Please join me in welcoming Bishop Joseph M. Siegel. Dear graduates of modern day, I'm happy to have the opportunity to offer you my congratulations and to share some reflections with you as you complete your years of study and formation here at modern day. Certainly this is not the way any of us plan to celebrate your commencement, nor did you foresee completing your senior year by sheltering at home and extended learning. And I'm sure that you were disappointed that you were not able to participate in the various rituals and activities that you normally mark the conclusion of senior year at modern day. In the future, when people look back on the class of 2020, how do you think you'll be remembered? You may suppose that you will be remembered mainly as a student who graduated the pandemic year and all that entailed. However, it is my hope and expectation that we'll think of you for much more than that. Namely, I hope that we will think of what you, the modern day class of 2020, have accomplished in your lives. How you were sent forth from the school empowered by your faith, your Catholic education, and made a profound difference for good in your colleges, the military, your workplaces, and eventually in our community, our nation, and beyond. I believe this is possible because modern day has taught you more. Yes, you've been instructed well in the usual subjects of literature, math, science, and history, and all the rest. But the more of your Catholic education has been learning what it means to be a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ, and applying that in your life. This entails being persons of integrity, generosity, and compassion. It includes making moral and ethical choices and life decisions. Empowered by the gifts of the Holy Spirit and all that has been shared with you in your years here at Modern Day, you are being sent forth as missionary disciples. As bold and courageous witnesses, you are commissioned to share his love, his truth, and his mercy with those you will encounter each day. To accomplish this, you need to stay close to Jesus. Whatever the future holds, always deepen your relationship with the Lord through your daily prayer and the regular practice of your faith. I hope you'll be involved in campus ministry, chaplaincy programs, or parish ministries and activities. For our diocese 75th anniversary celebration, we chose the motto, Christ yesterday, today, 
and forever. This quote from scripture is a reminder that the same Jesus who has walked with us in the past sustains us now and also will be guiding and protecting us in the years to come. May your faith always instill in you the inner peace and joy of experiencing the Lord's presence in your lives at all times, no matter where you are. Of course, your years at modern day would not have been possible if not for your parents. So please join me in thanking them along with your parishes for making this commitment and the sacrifices to help provide you with a Catholic education. I also want to express my gratitude to the priests, faculty, and staff of modern day for working so hard to fulfill your school's mission of forming and educating you as disciples of Jesus Christ. And so, dear graduates, I hope that your class will stand out, not just because you happen to graduate in the year of the worldwide pandemic, but because of the impact you make as faithful and committed disciples of Christ, infusing the world with his presence through your words and actions, making wherever you are a better place because you have shed the light of the gospel there. It is my prayer that through the intercession of Mary, the mother of God, your school patroness, and then of our diocese, that the Lord Jesus will continue to bestow on you every grace and good gift that you will need to live a full and meaningful Christian life as you go forth as disciples in the world. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Again, congratulations.